Hello, and welcome to my guide on tactics for Rot Face from Ice Crown Citadel in Ten Man. I'm Bloodrunner from Twisting Nether, and I'll be your tour guide this evening. Firstly, this is how we set up our group. We had two tanks, three healers, two melee DPS, and three ranged DPS. As you can see, Rot Face himself only requires one tank to keep him occupied, while the other tank is running around in circles, kiting an ad. Everyone else should be grouped up behind the boss. When you engage Rotface, ensure that the main tank keeps him positioned at the centre of the room, as this is the only place that will be permanently safe for the entire encounter. After around 25 seconds, Professor Putricide will cause one quarter of the room to be flooded by ooze that causes around 4,500 damage every second and reduces movement speed by 25% while a player is standing in it. A different quarter of the room will be flooded approximately every 25 seconds thereafter. During the fight, Rotface will cast Slime Spray on a random raid member approximately every 20 seconds. It will have a 1.5 second cast time, in which time all other raid members must move away from the targeted player, as Rotface will turn to follow his target should they move. Slime Spray causes around 5,500 damage to everyone in a 20 yard cone in front of him which, as he always follows his target, will always include the victim. Rockface will also periodically cast a Mutated Infection on a random raid member. Mutated Infection will cause around 3,500 damage per second to the player and reduce their healing received by 50% for 12 seconds. Once the debuff has expired, or is dispelled, a little ooze will spawn at the player's position. Little oozes are immune to taunt and automatically aggro the player from whom they spawned. Little oozes have an aura that permeates from them that causes around 3,500 damage every second to anyone within 10 yards of it. Due to this, if someone gets a mutated infection debuff, they should run to the edge of the room and wait for a second person to be inflicted by the debuff, as its aura would also cause the little ooze to merge with any other nearby oozes that its aura hits. When two little oozes merge, they become a big ooze. Unlike little oozes, big oozes can be taunted and must be kited around the room by the off tank. Big oozes also have an almost identical aura to the little oozes, apart from the fact that it inflicts an extra 1000 damage per second. When a big ooze absorbs a little ooze, it gains a stack of unstable ooze, which increases all its damage done by 20% per stack. Once it stacks to 5, the big ooze will cause an unstable ooze explosion, which has a 4 second cast time and will launch a globule of ooze at numerous random players' locations and will cause around 10,000 damage to anyone within a 6 yard radius of that location. The players' locations that the glob globules land are determined from when the ability is first cast, so players have at least 4 seconds to move and avoid being hit by it. Once the globules have landed, the fight mechanics are essentially a rinse and repeat. The last thing that occurs during this fight are small slime puddles of sticky ooze, which are cast by the ooze adds and which cause around 3000 damage per second and reduce movement speed by 50% of any player that stands in them. These are easily noticeable and can be easily avoided. And remember to turn the wheel by the entrance of the room once you kill him, so you can move on up to Professor Putricide. Yeah.